In the theater of modern warfare, where the airspace becomes a contested battleground, envision a scenario where adversaries are not only agile, but armed with cutting-edge weaponry. In this dynamic landscape, two heroes, Tor and Panzer, emerge as the Guardians, each with its unique set of capabilities that shape the story of air defense. The Panzer air defense system seamlessly integrates an impressive fusion of anti-aircraft guns and surface-to-air missile technology, not just securing a prominent position in the international arms market, but also solidifying its reputation. On the other side of this spectrum, TOR emerges as a formidable successor, marking a significant leap in military technology with its short-range anti-aircraft prowess. What distinguishes TOR is its unique ability to engage targets while in motion, showcasing a level of agility and responsiveness that enhances its battlefield effectiveness. Russian air defense systems with Pantsir and TOR at the forefront earn acclaim as among the world's best, with a proven track record of success in combat operations. But what truly differentiates them? Despite their apparent overlapping roles and capabilities, is there a nuanced distinction waiting to be uncovered? Stay tuned for the answers. Let's start with the story of how and why they came into existence. The TOR, codenamed SA-15 Gauntlet by NATO, emerged as a response to the directives of the Central Committee of the CPSU in 1975. Serving as a successor to the 9K33 OSA, it targeted low to medium altitude threats, ranging from helicopters and planes to cruise missiles and short-range ballistic threats. In contrast, the Panzer, designated SA-22 Greyhound by NATO, is a multifaceted family of self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. Conceived in the 1980s, the Panzer addresses the need for a rapid-response anti-aircraft system, particularly prompted by US AH-64 and A-10 tactics. Its development gained urgency during the first Persian Gulf War, where vulnerabilities in older Soviet-based defense systems were exposed. Moving on to production history. First up, we have the Panzer Air Defense System, a powerhouse designed by the KBP Instrument Design Bureau in 1990. A cutting edge technology born in Russia and brought to life by the skilled hands at the Ulyanovsk Mechanical Plant. This system has been in action since 2008, boasting an impressive operational legacy that's still evolving. And guess what? It's got more than 200 units strutting their stuff globally. talking about making a mark. Now, the Panzer isn't just a one-hit wonder, it's undergone a bit of a glow-up over the years. The system has undergone several iterations, including the prototype Panzer S, then the Panzer S1, followed by the Panzer S10 or Panzer S1E, and the top-tier Panzer S2, each bringing something new to the table. With a unit cost ranging between 13.15 million US dollars to 14.67 million US dollars for export. In contrast, the TOR air defense system, a true veteran in the game, was designed by the team at Almazante back in 1975. It's been in the production game since 1983, crafted by the skilled hands at IMZ Kupol, with help from Metro Wagon Mash and MZKT, a trio that's been creating air defense magic for decades. The TOR system is a short-range air defense or Sherrod Maestro, known for its adaptability and ground-based deployment prowess. With various iterations, including the original TOR, TOR M1, TOR M2, and TOR M12U, this system has seen it all and is still going strong. When comparing these air defense systems, the Panzer production is marked by a more recent start with a notable emphasis on export success and over 200 units built. On the other hand, the TOR system's longer production history since 1983, coupled with its adaptability through different variants, showcases a legacy of reliability. In 
terms of mobility, the Panzer got the Kamaz 740.35-400 diesel engine under the hood, packing a punch with 400 horsepower. Thanks to this powerhouse, the Panzer can hit the road at a pretty impressive top speed of around 90 kilometers per hour. Not just that, it's got a solid operational range of roughly 800 kilometers, making it quite the contender for sustained operations over long distances. Now, shifting gears to the Tor system, it rolls with a V46-2 S1 diesel engine, delivering an even heftier 780 horsepower. Despite this beefed-up engine power, the Tor cruises at a slightly slower pace, clocking in at approximately 65 km per hour. A bit less speedy than its Pantsir counterpart. The operational range of the Tor is approximately 580 km, which, while slightly shorter than the Pantsir, still provides a substantial coverage area. The Panzer and Tor systems distinguish themselves with unique missile armaments. The Panzer system features a total of 12 missiles. Weighing in at 74.5 kilograms, these projectiles carry a warhead with a substantial weight of 20 kilograms. The warhead type is designated as high explosive fragmentation, emphasizing its capability to inflict damage over a wide area. The Pantsir's impressive range of fire spans 20 kilometers, with an altitude capability reaching up to 8 kilometers. In contrast, the Tor system boasts a focused missile armament, consisting of eight missiles. The warhead, weighing 14.8 kilograms, is of the blast fragmentation type, optimized for precision in short-range engagements. The Tor system's range of fire extends up to 12 kilometers, with an altitude capability of 6 kilometers. Guided by command guidance, the Tor's missile armament excels in rapid response and accuracy within its designated operational envelope. In essence, Tor and Panzer, born from a shared historical backdrop, represent distinct solutions catering to nuanced requirements in the ever-changing landscape of air defense. While both systems share a mobile, ground-based deployment strategy, they cater to different operational needs. The Panzer, designed as a SAM system, focuses on mid-range engagements, striking a balance between power and speed. It swiftly traverses varied terrains, covering extensive distances with agility. Meanwhile, the Tor system, classified within the Sharad category, excels in short-range air defense scenarios, showcasing remarkable efficacy in rapid response situations. Finally, the choice between them really boils down to the mission requirements, with the Panzer shining in scenarios demanding speed and endurance, and the Tor excelling in short to medium range air defense roles. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.